Today we're going to look at the breadboard. The breadboard is a device that you're going to be using throughout the year to interconnect circuits. Each hole along this row is connected at the back of the board to each other hole along this row. Therefore, by pushing two wires into this row, it is similar to connecting those two wires together. There are eight similar rows on your breadboard. These rows are typically used to connect common signals to your circuit, such as positive voltage, negative voltage, or ground. In the center of your board, the rows are connected slightly different. Here we have a 741 op amp. You notice the pins align exactly with the holes on the board. Every chip has a circle above pin 1. Here I label it in yellow. To the right of pin 1 is pin 2, 3, and 4. The holes below each pin are connected so that if you put a wire into any one of the holes below the pin, it's directly connected to the pin of the chip. This also holds true for the opposite side of the chip. Take special notice of the pin numbering 5, 6, 7, 8 as it wraps around the chip. The pin numbering is important because it's directly reflected in the data sheet of the chip. 